Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Here we've got another tool review for you. So we've got some more of the display stuff. I've been running through a lot of these recently. So what we've got down in here, we've got a um, basically a hand drill. Looks like an upgraded one to their old one. I had a complaint with the old one because the engines keep falling off. So anyway, we'll see how that one is. We've actually got a, a mini drill, which I do find incredibly useful. I know obviously you can go off and get big ones and all the rest of it. But uh, as I say, I've been using the trumpeter one for years now and it just works. So we've got a some polishing sponges and various bits and pieces up there. To be honest, just off of here, I've got some replacement little ones as well for it. So we've got that, that's a little USB charge one. And we've got a little feeler gauge, which actually you'd use more often than you think about, all right? So start with, I think we'll have a look at the, the drill. So you might know, just get in mind, I've been harping all about this thing forever. This is master tools. It's not massively cheap, it's really handy because you just got a, and if you need to drill holes, if you need to do sanding, buffing, anything else like that, it's really handy. Because if you're like me, cables and that, they're just a pain. All right. But as long as you remember to keep it on charge, it works all the time. So no problem with that. It's got quite a big bit on it and all the rest of it. And it's quite chunky, but it does the job. Now, Despair and their infinite wisdom have come up with a really small one. So I've already opened this up because I thought it might need charging, to be honest with you. But I haven't had a go with it. So actually, what you get is you get the drill itself which is a little dinky thing as you can see and actually it's really nice you've got speed control so you just keep pressing it for speed so obviously it's slow medium fast so you've literally just got it like that all right so it's got three speeds all the rest of it it's a nice design so actually what it is it's usb powered via your standard usb c which lots of us have got lying around. But what's really nice, it comes with Despay's own cables in a nice red as well. So that's quite nice. And they're braided cables as well. So they're not cheapy ones or anything. So really nice to see those ones. Standard USB-C. So what you get, you get one bit with it. And obviously this is, I've been using these types of bits for a long time. So you can use them for carving, for cutting plastic and all the bits and pieces. And if you watch any of my work, you know I've got drawfuls of these because you just buy them off of eBay or Amazon and all the rest of it, wood carving bits. And they're great for working with plastic, all right? So you've got one of these. Then this goes in the end here, all right? You're good to go. What you've actually got is down here at the back, I'll take this out, you can see, we've got the charging port down in here. So it plugs in and away you go, but you actually get an Allen key with a slot for it. So you can come along with your, your little bit here you can put it into your said item and then you can just tighten it up and that's locked in there that's not going anywhere and that way you are good to go one thing i will say and it may be just because of the size but the balance on this is absolutely perfect that's not moving at all now my other one i've got over there the trumpeter one it's not totally central so if you've got a very fine you know half mil drill bit in it yeah, you end up with a one mil drill because it's just spinning around all over the place. But that looks to be very, very nicely centered on there, just like that. All right. So if we whip that out, because I don't want to go around carving anything today. All right. Now, I haven't charged this at all, so I don't know how long the charge is going to last. But we've got this one. So this one is the one that comes with it. What you do get is one of these. All right. So you can buy one of these. These are separate. And these obviously are tungsten carbide sets and i must admit i've got lots of these uh in various guises of doing various things from milling through to everything else so again as you can see we've got a nice little box usual way and you've got some nice ones so you've got a flat one in here so that's always dead handy if you need to remove ejector pins and stuff like that they're great you've got some more pointy type ones down in here some big ones you've got a round headed one which is great if you want to be doing things especially like um you know stress skin effect on aircraft or on boats and stuff these are great for it and again we've got another big flat one down in here for carving but you can go out and go down the aftermarket route and get loads of different ones for this you can get really big ones i've got quite ones the size of my thumb right the way down to very fine ones and it's quite nice all right so that's pretty good indeed so you can get one of these this one is a separate purchase and your number for this one is gh10 all right so you can go off and get that one down there so the drill itself sorry is es-p if you want to get that one so that's those that's very nice indeed come along with this you've actually got a span a sanding sponge set all right, so we've actually got different flavors down in here. This is a set with them all in. 
but otherwise you've got 12 ones of each type, all right? So these are just literally polishing sponges. So I'm imagining what these are is the density of the sponge. So down in here, you've got the little head. So the head will come along into here, fit down in there. We'll take our Allen key, pop it into here. All right, so that's got our head. So this is like a strong piece of rubber on there. There's a little bit of give, but not much down in there. All right, we'll put the key in the back. because That's a really nice place to keep it, to be honest. All right, so that's in there. No problem at all. And then down in here, we've got two packs of the sponges. So the orange one, which I assume is the coarse one, which will be this one here. So this is SPP01. So it's a 12 pack of those if you want to do it. This is this one. So you put your polishing compound on, usual bits and pieces, and away you go. And you set off polishing. And then obviously you've just got your different grades all the way through here. So that's obviously this one. Then you've got the green one. This is the medium. All right, so you've got a more softer, and then obviously the density of the foam is a little bit higher. And then I think you've got the blue will be the next one. All right, so that's the blue one. Again, really nice and soft. And then lastly, I think they're slightly in the wrong order. They should be this way around. And then you've actually got the, the black one, which is the polishing one. And that's a very, very fine sponge. So you pop your stuff on there when you have got it centered and uh, you'll be good to go. All right, and you can do that one just like that. So your part numbers for all of these, as you can see, is SPP001 through to four. And then obviously they are obviously from coarse right the way up to fine. So if you're doing lots of polishing, you're doing your car, stuff like that, clear parts, usual bits and pieces, that's the way you want to go. So again, that's very, very nice in those. At the same time they do this, which is the disc set. All right, so this is actually for your sanders and it's displays normal sanders and then what you've got is a situation obviously you've got fine up here i think these are all i don't know what grit how they do it so also it's 400 that's quite strong all right so we'll give that a whirl because we can test that out on something then what you get is these sticky pads and they come down onto this little guy you can place these on get them as central as possible we'll whip this guy off because it's not doing this bit anymore Take that out of the way. This one can come in. All right, get that in there, lock him in. So you say this one here, you got 600 grit, you got 400 grit, I think there's an 800 in here, and you got a thousand. So you've got all the different ones you could need for it. And then if we grab our Harrier we're currently working on, this would be great for taking out obviously ejector pins and stuff like that, but we can. As you can see, it actually that sounds really, really well. So if you just probably a little bit too quick there. Speed two. Because otherwise what it'll do, but you can probably see the dust. It does actually work really, really nicely. And again, it's finding the balance between the grit and what you're doing. That is very nice. You can probably see the dust coming off with this. And to be honest, the pads aren't blocking. They'd be good. Just give them a wipe out on your trousers or on a cloth and they're clean and ready to go again. So actually that works better than I was expecting. I must admit, I wasn't expecting it to work quite as good as that, but that's actually worked an absolute treat. And let's say you've got plenty of options. You can buy spares and no doubt you can probably stick your own to it if you wanted to. So actually that's a really nice bit of kit. So it doesn't matter if you're technically cutting or carving with this tool you've got some sanding and obviously you've got the polishing as well in all of this different section so you can literally do whatever you want uh with this right the way through i think that's a really really nice touch so again i'm gonna have a play with it and i'll come back in a few weeks time and i'll do a follow-up to see how this thing is still going i.e how long does it charge and all the things but actually i quite like that that's actually quite nice the sponge has got enough give in it as well that it moves around. Sometimes I tend to use a longer sort of like this technique with one of these on just to make it go in. But if you're taking out ejector pins and you need to get in there, that's really, really nice. So, um, okay, so next up we've got this guy, 
This is a parallel scriber. So if your number for this one is ATPST, all right. So again, very nice indeed. Okay, get it out of the box. Some of them they put a little flap. There we go. All right. Again, really very nice piece of kit. So we've got this. I assume this is the needle, which we'll kill ourselves with in a moment. All right. So nothing more on the box. There's no instructions or anything with these things, which is a little bit weird. But technically, what you have is a situation where you've got obviously you can set your depth of what you want it to be. I assume you want to do the top one. You insert said needle. Did it not go right the way through? I thought it would go right the way through. Yes, it does. So you can set said needle, screw up this back end. This will hold this needle in place, and then lethally, you've got a scriber on the end of this. Then obviously you can set your, your depth to exactly what you want this to be and you can parallel scribe with it. So um, I haven't actually got anything here uh, to demo on, but hopefully you get the point. So if you were literally coming along and you wanted to make a perfect line, hopefully you can see, you just set the depth to what you want it to be. So literally, if you want to do a little thin one, there we go. You can see it's down in there. And that's what this is for. So it's a lethal one. And obviously you can set your depth. You can come right the way out if you wanted to. And luckily they have got a little groove in the top here. So this will sit in to it. So it will literally go into the groove of this. Although it looks like my needle slightly bent, if I'm honest. So we might have to twist it round to get it to go in. Either that with the engineering slightly off. But yeah, in theory, the needle will sit in here. There we go, it's in there now, just like that. But that's how it works. So you come along and if you wanted a one mil, then you can just set it in there like that. So, uh, that's it. and then we can just come along and do it down on this side. And you know, you've got a one mil line down in there, just like that. So you can just literally go along, sorry, one mil line might be more like this. You can come along and just put in the lines. So actually really, really handy. Obviously that'll go around corners. And then obviously the great thing is you've got a thing, you can go right the way up to technically, probably a little bit more, but up to eight centimeters or 80 mil, right the way across. And then you can go through. And again, if you want to protect this, I'll just poke that in there. And then obviously you can pull the needle right back just to save it so it's out of the way. And then you can bring this in, pop it back in here to keep it safe which it won't work because I've got a slot in the side, but you get the idea. But you could take the needle out if you wanted to, push it forward, stick the little rubbery boot back on just to protect your life because it's lethally sharp. And then there we go. That can sit back in here. This can go in here and go in. Again, it's one of those tools, literally, you're probably not going to use very often, but when you do, it's an absolute lifesaver because actually that's a really nice scriber on that as well. So that'll work really well. So if you're ever doing parallel lines, again, I'm thinking not so much probably on aircraft and armor, but if you're doing landscapes, tiles, you know, floors, things like that, and you need those lines to be perfect each time, that's a really quick and easy way of doing it as well. So again, very nice piece of kit, that one. So that is your number 80 PST for the actual panel. Uh, well, what do actually call it? A panel scribing tool. There we go. And again, if you can read Chinese, you're good. Right, last up, we have this, which is something we wanted to have a look at because I've got the old one and the old one drives me mad because the top keeps falling off. Again, nice bit of kit, comes in a nice little presentation box. We get a thank you. A couple of QR cards to scan and all the rest of it, no doubt. Oh, this is a different shape. It's more bulbous. So actually, that's very nice indeed. So what we've actually got, as you can see, down in here. I want to know. Oh, it does come off still. So mine keeps falling off on the end. So hopefully that stays on. But the great thing is, obviously, it sits in, it rotates, and you can just drill your, your holes as away you go. You've got a tightening and loosening thing here to unlock it. So obviously, it's like a collet down in here. We'll just pull it apart to see. Yeah. You only get one, it's not reversible. So we've got a chuck uh, collet system. The end on, come on, light. If I can get the end click 
broken. Oh no, I've broken it. There we go. And then we get these, which are tungsten set. To be honest, they are really nice, these ones. I buy, as you know, zillions of them. But this is one of those things. To be honest, I still use all the time. Here's the other ones down in here. I don't know if they're exactly the same, but obviously just had a bit of a thing, but it is 0.3 to 0.12. Probably is exactly the same. I find these don't break as easy as the others, but technically it's quite nice because you don't need any mass tools or anything to get these in. We just slacken that off a little bit. That drops in and we are good to go for drilling holes. So again, really nice bit of kit that. Very, very nice indeed. So again, basically it's got the sizes in there, 0.3 all the way up to 0.12 again. So this one is ATSHD. Again, I'll give you links to where you can get these, obviously at Braveco, right the way through. But again, really nice bit of kit this. And again, nice little holder, keeps them all nice and safe. Got the things, you don't need any special tools or anything else like that for this. You can just sit back in the case and away it goes. So yeah, something very nice about that.